Welcome back, everybody. Gator the Legend here, as always. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm a little fucking pissed off. So before we get into it, I'd like to give you guys a bit of a backstory of how I got to this conclusion and what, where this is all coming from. I've been getting comments lately of people bashing me because they said the whole iDubbbz video that he made about me has worn off and how my videos are back to only getting two, three, four hundred views per video, blah, blah, blah. And to them, I'd like to say, I don't even deserve 200 views. I don't deserve 100 views. I mean, I don't even know if I deserve 50 views. I'd say I probably have 50 true fans out there uh, that I that I know of that comment all the time. I, I mean, hopefully there's some out there that don't care to comment because you're just, you know, you're not into that part of it, but you love watching my videos. And to those guys that I never get to talk to in the comments section, thank you for your support. I fucking love you guys. It's fucking awesome that you watch my videos. But I want to be honest with you guys today. I'm not doing the whole gator, douchebag, fucking cocky, fucking sarcastic persona today. I am being 100% genuine with you guys. My channel doesn't deserve it. It, plain and simple, doesn't deserve it. So to bash me that I'm only getting 200 views, I still think that's fucking insane that 200 fucking people watch my video. And here's why. I have seen so many small YouTube channels that I fucking crush what they do in a year with one video sometimes. Like in views and fucking subs and everything else. So just in one video. And these smaller YouTubers are 20, 30 times better than my shit. They put time, they put research, everything into their videos. I, on the other hand, I have about an hour of free time a week. And that, that's not always. Obviously, I've gone weeks without putting videos here and there. That's because that hour got sucked up. I had to do something else. Unless I stay up till 2 in the fucking morning or I get up super early. I got up at 5.30 this morning so I can make this video because I really feel passionate about it to get out there. But the facts are I watch these small YouTube channels. And if you want a few examples of this, go to my page, go to my Awesomes channel list and just click a few of them. They're right there. And I watch these guys who have maybe 100, 200 subs, something like that. And they get maybe 30, 40, 50 views per video if they have a good video that's doing okay out there. And they continue to make content. And here's the craziest thing. The craziest fucking thing. Their videos will have just as many likes with 50 views as my video has with 1,000, with 1,300, 1,500 views on it. Same amount of likes. That should say something. Now, since I'm being serious in this video, I don't want to just come at YouTube with a problem and bitch and bitch and bitch and bitch. I mean, I will bitch about all this shit because it is all very fucked up. But I also want to bring a solution. YouTube needs to stop basing the videos that they push out there to the public, whether it's trending or advertising on another video or off to the side or whatever the fuck. Stop basing that off of views. Stop basing that off of subs. Let's start basing it off of the like-dislike ratio. Think about it. If these small YouTube channels that have, like I said, the fraction of my sub, the fraction of my views are getting the same amount of likes as me, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense that they're not blowing up and ganging subs faster than me. They should be getting subs faster than me. If you're able to get 30 likes and zero dislikes, I'm over here with 30 likes and 250 dislikes on my video. Why am I more successful than you? Why am I making more money than you off of my videos? Even if it is just fucking pennies, but that's not the point. Why is that happening? That doesn't make any logical sense to me. I've worked in sales for 11, 12 years, whatever it is now, and that's you don't prom you get rid of that. That's well, I mean, don't get rid of my channel. I'm not saying that, but these small channels, you got to find when something's working, when something's doing well, you got to find that and you have to exploit that. These small channels that are doing that, you should be out there fucking finding them and promoting them. I mean, at the end of the day, you're a business, and like any business, you have one goal to make money. Do you really want to make bank? Then what you got to do is you got to just, you know, put a little bit of effort in. Fucking go out there and find these channels. Or what I think is the easiest solution, just start basing off what you're going to advertise out there off the like-dislike ratio. There's a few things that you accomplish by doing this. One, people who deserve to be advertised, people who deserve to get more views and more subs are going to get that because of the work that they put in and because of the results that they receive. I understand that likes can be fudged to an extent. I do get that, you know, I can call 20 of my buddies and say, hey, y'all, like this. But the dislikes, you can't stop people from disliking your video. You can't, you just can't do that. I, uh, trust me, if you could stop people <laughs> from disliking your video, 
I would have done that a long fucking time ago because that's most of what I get. But here's the problem. These guys don't have any dislikes and they don't go anywhere. Their channels don't go anywhere. They get frustrated. They want to quit. While meantime, they're putting fucking hours and hours and hours in every fucking week to make YouTube some quality content. Fucking promote them. It's not, it's fucking genius. It's fucking genius. Like dislike ratio. That should be more important than every other aspect, in my opinion. It really should be. And it also helps you. It helps you out so much because it's going to get all the viewers involved. If you announce and say, hey, for now on, like, dislike is going to be the number one thing we look at. Then after that, views, after that, subs, whatever. I understand you still have to take those things into consideration. I do get that. But your number one thing you should take into consideration is the like-dislike ratio. Because that's the feedback from the people that have gone out of their way to go to your business, YouTube, your channel, watch your videos, and they're telling you, we like this video. This is the video that we like. Or this is a video we don't like. I don't care if a video gets a million fucking views. If they have six times the amount of dislikes as likes, those people aren't coming back to watch the second video. The problem is, is you guys just, you, you settle. You're like, oh, this guy, even though no one likes his shit, he's got so many subs and so many things that we know he's going to get around a million views on every, every video. But he's not growing. YouTube should be about growth. Look at PewDiePie. Look at fucking PewDiePie. How do you get to 50 million subscribers? You shouldn't be going, oh great, PewDiePie got the 50 million subscribers. That's all that we need. We don't need anything else. That's a fucking stupid way to think. You should be thinking, how do we get the next guy to 50 million subscribers? How do we get the next guy after that to 50 million subscribers? How do we get to 60 million subscribers, 100 million subscribers? How do we get more and more views? It should always be trying to get to that next fucking level. You're not going to get there by continuing to promote garbage fucking channels with people who put no time, no effort into any of their shit. Stop doing that. It's stupid. It's a bad business plan. Plain and fucking simple. I know it will take time for these small channels to get up to all those subs and all those views, but with good like to dislike ratio, they're going to get there. And when they do, they won't go stale. They won't just flatline. iDubs TV is the number one fucking example of this. He blew up and he, does, he hasn't stopped. He hasn't flatlined. He's continuing to grow. Oh, his videos are fucking getting more and more views as it goes on. He's getting more and more subs every single day. Like, he's just ganging subs at such a rapid pace. It's insanity. And it's because not only is he just great to begin with, but he continues to put more and more effort into every video that he does. His most recent video, Where Are They Now? Just the, There was like a 30-second clip where he clipped together all these videos of all these women who did a review on this product. And he was putting together all the spots where they were saying similar things and stuff. Not only did he have to sit there and put himself through the misery of watching each and every one of those shitty fucking videos, but then he had to go through, figure out, you know, which ones were saying the exact same thing, splice it all together, all the editing and everything. He probably put more work into that 30 second fucking spot than I have in every, all, all 160 plus fucking videos I have on my channel. I'm not saying there's other iDubs TVs out there. There isn't. The guy's fucking brilliant. What can I say? But there are a ton of great channels out there with no subs, no views, no nothing. And what's going to happen is they're going to get tired of not going anywhere because their dream is to have an audience. That's their dream. They came here to have an audience and to prevent or present a good product. And they're doing the good product. They're doing their part, but you're not doing your part. Your part's to give them that audience. And right now, your algorithms are shit. You got to do something to change. My suggestion, like-dislike ratio. I feel like that's the simplest, easiest solution that's going to get you the results that you want. And that's literally a win-win-win situation for everybody except for the gator. Because, obviously, I'm never going to stop all these fucking dislikes from outweighing my likes. It's just the life that I live. And I'm okay with it. Because, like I said, I spend an hour a week on my videos, if I'm lucky, and I'm not doing this to become super famous. If I become super famous, obviously, I'm not going to complain. I'll be the happiest motherfucker in the world. But that's not why I make my videos. But that is why some of these people make their videos out there. And it's good stuff. Give them an opportunity. Do something. If you don't like my plan, just figure something else out. Stop letting these little channels just fade away. All right, I gotta be honest with you guys, I've rambled on for about 35 minutes. I'm gonna have to try to slice this down as much as possible. The video might look like shit, but my goal is just to get the point across that something needs to be done to help out these smaller YouTube channels. It really bothers me. It's bothered me for over a year now once I started realizing this issue. Because I, like I said before, I, I, I don't know that much about YouTube. I, I didn't in the beginning. I, I know more now, obviously, but still not nearly as much as the average viewer, to be honest with you. Uh, but these small YouTubers, they shouldn't, they shouldn't just be fucking thrown to the side. They need fucking help. Someone go and fucking help them to come up with something. 
Maybe there's a big YouTuber out there that can start creating... Uh, I, I tried to do this channel promotions thing for a while, but, I mean, how the fuck is my channel going to promote anybody when I get mostly hate? I mean, I don't want to throw a bunch of hate at these channels, and, you know, that wouldn't be fair to them with the effort and time they put in there. But if some big YouTuber out there, maybe you can do this. Maybe you can take up the reins for YouTube if they're not going to fucking do it. And just go out there and put some research and time into finding these small channels. I'm talking fucking... 5,000 subs or less. They're out there, man. There's some great stuff out there. Someone needs to step up. Someone needs to be the hero. And, you know, someone like, you know, PewDiePie or one of the just someone with the fucking millions of subs should be going out there and helping out these fucking small guys. Just fucking somebody do something. I, I mean, this is all I can do. I mean, and this video will be outweighed in dislikes. I'd say four days. Four days, I guarantee you, there'll be. More, way more dislikes and likes in this video just the way it works but other than that i'm gonna let you guys go uh thank you for voting on twitter i do appreciate it i put out there uh for you who don't know on twitter i put out uh four options for my next video rant one so this is the rant i hope you guys enjoyed it uh follow me on twitter at gator the legend obviously uh for more polls for more future videos so you can have a word and you know a stake into what i'm putting out there because i usually have four or five ideas that i might want to do at the same time so by asking you guys it helps me narrow it down so i do appreciate that and as always i've been the gator and you've been great peace uh, 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 uh. <sighs> don't chug an entire cup of coffee first thing in the morning I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum Why can't I only fit two dicks in my ass? Am I a meme yet? Am I a meme yet?